In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite ways of how to wear the Hermes 90 centimeter scarves. everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Amy I promised that I would do this video for you guys since you guys love how much I wear my 90 centimeter scarves as a top of course it will also work in any other brands scarves that are in the similar sizes so this is the 90 by 90 centimeter which is what I'm wearing right now yes this is a silk scarf you can wear it as a top however I do find that Hermes silk is thicker and that it drapes nicer it has more of a substance it may be subtle to the eye or from you just looking at me but for me when I am wearing the scarf itself I do feel the difference the Hermes ones because of its thickness and the way it drapes it has more substance that it feels more comfortable that I feel more at ease I also want to show you this beautiful bouquet that I just received right before I filmed my birthday haul part two I would have included it at the same time this is a beautiful rose arrangement from Rose Forever they sent me this beautiful bouquet for my birthday month as well you can remove the lid and these are genuine flowers that have been treated so that you can display them for up to a year if not even more I think I have some older ones that I still have after two years thank you so much to Rose Forever for sponsoring this part of the video every bouquet is handcrafted by their professional rose artisans and they use natural oils to preserve these genuine roses. These roses come in either a round or a square shaped velvet box or acrylic box in different sizes so definitely check out the link below. You can also use my discount code AMY20 to save $20 at checkout. I already have the white version right here right behind me and in the drawer I put all my sunglasses look how handy that is let's start off with the easiest way to wear these scarves just fold your scarf in half in a triangle and depending on which pattern you like to showcase more just make sure that that's the front so let's just say that we like this corner right here what I like to do is just tuck the scarf like this so that it folds inwards a little bit and then go around your neck once you can just fix the the edges a little bit and you can either just tie a bow at this point right here double knot it or you can use a scarf ring and there you have it you just Fix it a little bit. Or if you don't have a scarf ring, and this scarf ring is not the tightest when you do just this little bit of scarf, then you can just double knot it. and do that of course cut your labels I haven't done that yet but this is what I really like about this pattern as well is that all the different colors just really mixes and matches really beautifully when you actually wear the scarf itself so the second way that I love wearing the scarf is another very simple way and all you need to do is do a bit of folding just like that and then you want to fold it a few times to make it into a long scarf a long bundle so you want to do it like this so that's one half done and you just have to do the exact same thing on the other side probably easier to do it on the table or on your bed at this point so now that you have both sides folded all you need to do is fold it in half again so that they are together and this is your long scarf or your long bandeau this would work on almost any scarf patterns but especially on this one it's super neutral and it shows the beautiful details here on the points this is basically the easiest way to wear your scarf once it's folded like this lengthwise diagonally you can be creative you can wear it as 
a scarf doubled up and tied a knot right here or you can use your uh, scarf ring if you want so you can do a simple tie just like this or you can double knot it just like this or you can also do closer to your neck and bring it to the side or you can drape this part to the back you can bring it more to the side this is a great way to keep your neck super warm actually because there's so many layers of the silk scarf around your neck you can even tie a bow if you want Sometimes it's quite nice to have everything seamless and look super smooth. So if you have a scarf ring, you could just easily just do it up like this. And it's a really nice way to drape your scarf. You can make it higher or you can make it lower. It's really, really pretty this way. If you wanted to just cinch in a jacket or whatnot, it is completely possible. To just use this as a belt just like that or you could just wear it as a headband like I am doing right here so I just double knotted it right here and I think it's super cute and very festive I don't have a ton of hair but you could try wearing this on your ponytail so I will just demonstrate it but my hair is thin it won't hold very long so I will just do it for demonstration purposes all you need to do is just tie a knot to hold your ponytail and voila but like I said I don't have a ton of hair it doesn't feel like very secure on my on my head of hair so if you have a much thicker ponytail then it would work so much better let's go back to this scarf I love that it's so colorful and all the patterns are different so the way it drapes is so unexpected sometimes so let's just fold it in half like this but obviously you can do the other way around too and then fold it in diagonal again so just like that and then all you need to do is just drape around you and tie a double knot right here. So all you need to do is just adjust it. It really depends on which side of the scarf that you want to show more of. And it's a, just a nice way to kind of just drape your scarf around your neck very casually. The back will just look like that. Another even simpler way of draping this is literally fold it in a triangle first. So fold it in half. Let's just say that you want to feature more of the tiger and the bird. Then all you need to do is do that. You want to just double knot it and turn it around. This is as easy as it gets. So you literally are draping a triangle around your neck, basically. You can make it lower, you can make it higher. So this is a fun, fun way to really showcase all the different designs and all the different sides of your scarf. Now I'm going to show you the few different ways to wear it as a top. And one of my favorite is exactly the way that I'm wearing right now. This is my absolute favorite way. It covers a lot of your neckline and it shows your shoulders. You can tuck in the front if you are pretty short and petite. Uh, if you have extra fabric and then on the back is where it is spectacular because you get to show a lot of your back and your shoulders let me address the question of underwear right now because i know you will be asking anyway so underwear or no underwear it's really up to you for me i feel comfortable not wearing a bra at all i'm not super big chested anyway so i feel completely fine the hermes scarves are quite thick and the way they drape doesn't show any lumps and bumps and so i feel like it's pretty seamless it's not see-through because it's doubled up anyway and it's thick enough so i feel totally comfortable wearing it braless but if you want you can totally go ahead and 
find yourself a strapless bra. Find the one that's comfortable for you. This one is from Lily Silk and it's one of my favorite. And all it will show is just that little bit in the back, the little bit of lace in the back. So however your bra looks, it will show pretty much like the back portion of the bra right here. Well, all you need to do is fold it into a triangle. You want to double knot the ends of the triangle. So just like that, you want to secure it because that's where your neck goes. Loop it around your neck. And depending on which side of the scarf you want to show, so you either want to show this side or you could show that side. I guess there's not much difference for this scarf in particular. Pull it taut on the bottom and you want to secure it in the back. There you have it, your knot in the back. And then whatever fabric in front that's excess, you can also tuck it into your shorts or your pants. And then you want to maybe just tuck in the edges to make it nice and seamless. Or you can show the edges if you like the edges, actually. Obviously, these knots right here, the one in the back here, and this big one can loosen up throughout the day, but you just need to just pull it just to tighten up your top overall uh, throughout the day. But otherwise, this is how it looks like. Obviously, you can loosen up the neck area because some of you might not like it so tight here. Uh, and then you tuck in whatever fabric underneath here to show the beautiful print. So here you see a side of the horse, a little bit of the weaving. And that's how you wear the scarf as a top. This is a really cute way to really get a lot of wear out of your scarves. And you can do it even with this scarf, which is super colorful. And depending on which way you drape it, it just shows a different side of the print. Ta-da! I told you it would be nice, right? So I decided to just wear the uh, animals in front. So you get to see a little bit of the lion. You get a fish right here. You get a parrot. You get the zebra. It's so cute. And then you still get a little bit of that red from that grand theater. Such a colorful beautiful way of showcasing your different scarves oh my gosh this top is so cool i just love this one actually <laughs> If you don't like having your neck so constricted and tight, then you can wear it as a cowl neck. All you need to do is just tie these together. So this is part of your cowl neck. You can fix this part later, but what you need to do is tie this end. So you want to pull all the fabric taunt so that it covers your shoulders and everything and tie it in the back right there and after you've tied everything you can fix how you want to drape the front you can also grab more of the excess fabric that's in the front and just either drape it more so or tuck it more in you can also wear it as a little tube top it's not my favorite way unless i was in a very very tropical vacation but this is a very very cute way if you're at the beach and it's super simple it just looks like that all you need to do is fold your scarf into a triangle and tie it at the back. Just fold it in the triangle and then you can fold a little bit of the top to make that little part here if you want that cute little part there and just tie it in the back. And last but not least, apparently you can wear it as a skirt especially if you have a matching scarf. So if you have two of the same scarves, obviously I'm going to show you with two different scarves but all you need to do is Fold it in half, tie it around your waist, secure it in the front. So this is the back part of your skirt. Do the same thing with another scarf. You tie it the other way around. And voila! Actually, I've decided to wear the blue one underneath on the back because it's so wrinkly. I decided that this goes better with the top because the colors are more similar. But this is how it would look like as a skirt and a tube top and let me bring you down a little bit so there you have it little skirt using two scarves folded in two 
and a little tube top. So literally, you can have an outfit with three scarves. Let me know in the comments section which were your favorite ways of me wearing my scarf. Of course, there are many more other ways, but these are just my own favorite ways and the ways that I actually will practically wear. Also, let me know if you're gonna try it out or let me know if you have your preferred way of wearing the 90 centimeter scarf that I did not share with you. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, I would love to have you back, so please do consider subscribing. Turn that notification on and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.